Dr. Boniface Anebonam, the founder of the National Association of Government Appropriate Forwarders, Nagav, has called on the Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, to identify and disclose the names of the first bank management staff responsible for the non-remittance of government revenue collected by the bank. In a chat with Nigerian Maritime TV, Dr. Nebunam expressed concern over the failure of these individuals to fulfill their duty of remitting collected revenue, thereby hindering the government's effort to generate much-needed funds for national development. By doing so, the founder of the foremost freight forwarding association, Nagaf, aims to hold these individuals accountable for their actions while also urging the banking industry to prioritize ethical practices in revenue collection and remittance. And so my problem with the custom now is as simple as ABC. I expect customs by now to unveil those behind Face Bank of Nigeria. Either you approach the courts or you approach the Corporate Affairs Commission to know who and who is involved and then pick them up and prosecute them. Because what is going on is as simple as ABC. It is cheating. It is a breach of the contract they entered into. And look at the multiply effect of the actions. Import into Nigeria requires the registration of 4M. Uh, if you don't do that, the goods will not be allowed to be treated by the customs. And to say the exact, it's not only First Bank, there are other banks that have been appointed to carry that agency work on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria. And the, the terms of the contract are clearly stipulated. And now we are talking of non-remittance. And that has stalled operations in the ports. So my first problem with the custom now, I have problem with the custom as far as I'm concerned in this subject matter. If I take you to section 11 of the custom and excise management act, that section is very clear on matters of obstruction of the lawful duty of an officer. In this wise, the action of CB, uh, uh, First Bank has obstructed customs operation. Simplicity. Because right now, the importers are not taking their cargo out of custom control. The goods are occurring demorage in the ports. And some of these importers, so to say, may have one or two contracts they have to fulfill. Yes. And of course, the manufacturing sector and members of man, oh. and you could see the extent this can, is taking the, 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 the economy of the, of the country down. While the question of who pays demorages occurred during this period is still unclear, Maritime stakeholders will meet on Monday to take a stand. Can we say that the government of Nigeria has made a mistake now? To have included you, give you, give you contract to execute and make money, and you hold your own, you hold your own. And we're just talking. Well, the stakeholders meeting is coming up on Monday. Uh, we have just invited the Controller General of Customs. If he cannot come, you should send in maybe under the DCG, the uh, tariff and trade or enforcement in it. And uh, we, we want to interact with them and understand what is going on because it, it's not proper. This country is losing revenue. People are losing their investment and all that. And I want to remind you that every shipping operation is dollar denominated. Oh. Do you understand? Yes. And we need to be very careful in all these things we are doing.